All right, welcome back. Okay, so how you just started out, ran into one where people are saying that land masses are moving around on the Earth, um, all because uh, the movie Dazed and Confused um, shows a land mass right here off the coast of Australia. Now, anybody who's like kind of watched the other Mandela Effect themed videos that I've done here recently um, knows I kind of don't really buy into this theory. I think there's things that can explain a lot of things. Um, you know, for instance, before we get into the uh, the part of the movie Days to Confuse to where it shows the globe, um, there's a lot of movies that we all know of. Lion King is one. Um, the big lion jumps down on the edge of that mountain and the word sex appears in the sky. And, uh, you know, Aladdin. Aladdin rides the magic carpet up and you hear, um, you hear at the balcony, you know, all good boys and girls have sex. Stuff like that. There are tricksters and there are jokesters in the entertainment industry. Um, especially uh especially when you're talking about prop makers and stuff and um, what about the three men and the baby where there was uh you do you guys remember the ghost behind the curtain that co ghost of the dead kid that fell to his death from that apartment and yada 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 um well that was a bunch of crap it was like the director's uh son or something like that i that's not the whole point of this video you know however um so yeah there that is a possibility and dimensions coexisting and linking into each other and, and we're, we're getting, uh, we're remembering an alternative history um, could be a very possible other solution um, to this. But let's jump into the movie and let's kind of see uh, what I'm talking about. All right, here we see the globe in Dazed and Confused. Here's what everybody's pointing out. However, after me, the quote-unquote skeptic of, of the uh, Mandela effect, takes a look at this globe, I see a lot more issues than, than this misplaced, um, not New Zealand island thing. Um, first off, let's do this. Let's kind of take a look at where everything is situated. Let's burn this into our brain. This is the coastline. All right, see how that goes? Look at where Japan and all that stuff is on the globe. Look at where Australia's sitting and look at all these little islands right here. All right, now let's go to Google Maps. All right, here we have it real similar, a real similar placement to, um, to where we had the movie. Um, but look, India, does that look, and look at this, it goes down, it's almost connected, look at this, look at this little string of islands, look how little that is, okay, look at this, look at these little string of islands, look at where Japan and everything is, okay, all right. There's New Zealand right here. Here's where that landmass and a couple little islands don't exist at all. But again, look at all these string of islands. All right, now let's go back to Days and Confused. All right. I'm seeing a big difference. Um, look at how wide this is. On Google Maps, it's nice and skinny. And if you... If you've got Google Maps downloaded, go to it and take a look at it. You'll see what I'm talking about firsthand. Look at where India is. Um, India was way over here, remember? Way over here. Look at where Japan is, okay? Japan was way f up here. Um, look at this. What is this? What is that? What is that? All right. Let's take a look at Google Maps again. All right, again, here we go. We're, we're sitting just about, even if it's down like this, down like this, okay? Look at where India is. Look at how it's pointed. 
see it? There. I'm going to get it down like that. That's real close. What is that? See it? See it? That's it right there. What is this? Look at that. There's water right there. Small little land masses, maybe. Get as close as we can. I, I just don't... There it is. And there this is. Look at that. That's not the same. So, alright, in this box, it's about the same. Well, I've zoomed in a lot closer. Look. Zoom out. Yeah, I just don't think it looks the same. So, with that, am I saying that um, we're remembering an alternate timeline? I don't know. I'm still on the fence on it. I still think a lot of this can be explained um, through uh, some prankster making the movie. Um, what I encourage you guys to do, and leave comments if I'm missing something in this story, I'll definitely take a look at it again. But I encourage you guys to look around and see if there's any other instances of the globe looking like this in any other movies, any other books, any other anything that could be just a fragment, a something in there there's a lot of uh, movies with a globe in it for instance so you know uh let's let's all take a look at some stuff like that and let's try to see if we can't find any other examples and we'll take a look at them together and uh please let me know what you come up with i'll keep you posted if i come up with anything else uh for now i'm just kind of leaving it as um the globe maker was playing around because the differences are are vast this doesn't even look like the same area. Um, like, look up here. These little string of islands. See them? Look at them on the real map. That's not... They're almost connected. You know, that that's just not it. Where's this island? You know? So, you know, with that... I don't know. You guys be the judge. Subscribe if you like my channel, and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks. What is that? See it? See it? That's it right there. What is this? Look at that. There's water right there. Small little land masses, maybe. Get as close as we can. I, I just don't... There it is. And there this is. Look at that. That's not the same. So, alright, in this box, it's about the same. Well, mass and a couple little islands don't exist at all. But again, look at all these string of islands. Alright, now let's go back to Dazed and Confused. Alright, I'm seeing a big difference. Um, look at how wide this is. 
on Google Maps, it's nice and skinny. And if you if you've got Google Maps downloaded, go to it and take a look at it. You'll see what I'm talking about firsthand. Look at where India is. Um, India was way over here, remember? Way over here. Look at where Japan is, okay? Japan was way F up here. Um, look at this. What is this? What is that? What is that? All right. Let's take a look at Google Maps again. All right. Again, here we go. We're, we're sitting just about, even if it's down like this. Down like this. Okay? Look at where India is. Look at how it's pointed. See it? There. We get it down like that. That's real close. This place, um, not New Zealand island thing. Um, first off, let's do this. Let's kind of take a look at where everything is situated. Let's burn this into our brain. This is the coastline. All right, see how that goes. Look at where Japan and all that stuff is on the globe. Look at where Australia is sitting and look at all these little islands right here. All right, now let's go to Google Maps. All right, here we have it real similar, a real similar placement to, um, to where we had the movie. Um, but look, India. Does that look? Look at this. It goes down. It's almost connected. Look at this. Look at this little string of islands. Look how little that is. Okay? Look at this. Look at these little string of islands. Look at where Japan and everything is. Okay? All right. There's New Zealand right here. Here's where that land, um, especially uh, especially when you're talking about prop makers and stuff. And um, what about the three men and the baby? Where there was, uh, you do you guys remember the ghost behind the curtain? That ghost of the dead kid that fell to his death from that apartment and yada yada yada. Um, well, that was a bunch of crap. It was like the director's uh, son or something like that. I, that's not the whole point of this video you know however um so yeah there that is a possibility and dimensions coexisting and linking into each other and and we're we're getting uh we're remembering an alternative history um could be a very possible other solution um to this but let's jump into the movie and let's kind of see uh, what I'm talking about. All right, here we see the globe in Dazed and Confused. Here's what everybody's pointing out. However, after me, the quote unquote skeptic of, of the uh, Mandela effect, takes a look at this globe, I see a lot more issues than, than this. All right, welcome back. Okay, so I just started out, uh, ran into one where people are saying that land masses are moving around on the earth, um, all because uh, the movie Dazed and Confused um, shows a land mass right here off the coast of Australia. Now, anybody who's like kind of watched the other uh, Mandela Effect themed videos that I've done here recently, um, knows I kind of don't really buy into this theory. I think there's things that can explain a lot of things. Um, you know, for instance, before we get into the uh, the part of the movie Days to Confuse to where it shows the globe, um, there's a lot of movies that we all know of. Lion King is one. Um, the big lion jumps down on the edge of that mountain and the word sex appears in the sky and uh you know aladdin aladdin rides the magic carpet up and you hear um you hear at the balcony you know all good boys and girls have sex stuff like that there are tricksters and there are jokesters in the entertainment industry 